Uh, my name is Dr. Vladimir Gubala, and I'm a lecturer at the Medway School of Pharmacy. Uh, my research is focused on the production and characterization of nanoparticles, with particular interest in silica nanoparticles. And over the years I've been working with silica nanoparticles, or nanomaterial in general, we discovered that um, there are certain issues related to the production of the nanomaterial. And one of the critical problems that uh, hasn't been addressed really yet is the robustness of the protocols how to make the nanomaterial itself. So previously we used to use all kind of shaking uh, devices in which we have to shake and, and uh, stir our reagents for a long time, sometimes several days. And but. We couldn't control all the variables such as temperature, speed, or even the time. The students often forget that yes, it has to be shaken for two hours or three hours or 24 hours. So we didn't have a full control over the production. One of the major issues in producing nanomaterial, and not just silica nanomaterial, is that during the production we have to have a very good and full control over many variables that are introduced in the process. Uh, shaking is one of the very critical part that people typically overlook. Uh, somehow they just think this is just easy, you can shake it with anything, shake or stir. But we discovered that actually uh, proper shaking, which you control the time, the speed, and the actual robustness and reproducibility has a very profound effect on the quality of the nanoparticles we produce. We used to use uh, very homemade old type fashion shakers before and then at some point we acquired this uh, comix instrument which is a very nice instrument because it allows us to control the shaking speed and the time digitally and with a nice touch screen and it's very robust so there's very little variables now we have to uh, account for which actually means that our nanoparticles are now made more reproducibly and we don't have a variability between batches. One of the very good things about comics is that these adapters you can buy for different sizes of your samples. So this will allow us to screen different conditions, different uh, shaking speeds, reproducibly number of replicates. But then if we need to scale up the reactions, we can actually get different adapters where we can actually make about 10 or 100 times more nanoparticles than we made before. Again, very well controlling the speed and the shaking time. 